Upper Fells Point boy still in the hospital at this hour after a hit and run accident three months ago, and his mother says she needs your help. WMER 2 News Skyler Henry sat down with her just minutes after visiting her son. And Skyler, what have these four months been like for her? I can only imagine as a mom. Yeah, Kelly, it's been tough. Uh, Patricia Bell says it's been rough. While one child is in the hospital, she just had a baby just a couple of weeks ago. We were able to get this new video from that day showing the moments before that van hit her 11-year-old son, Christopher. And Patricia says she hopes that will help find the driver. A week after his 11th birthday and a day after what was supposed to be his first day at a new school, Christopher Bautista is still in the hospital. His mother Patricia sees him as often as she can. He's frustrated. He has trauma to the head. Um, back in June 12, he had um, one fractured liver, two fallen lungs that were bleeding. Now he has a trach. I mean, he's come a long way. We almost lost him. A week before his elementary school graduation, Christopher hopped on a skateboard and darted down an alleyway. A yellow van then smacked into him on Bank Street and took off. Look at this never before seen video from a neighboring surveillance camera spot the van. Then moments later, you can hear a cry for someone to call an ambulance. Every time I walk down to the scene where it happened, I don't want to walk down there anymore. I really don't even want to get in the yellow cab anymore. In the months since, Baltimore police have asked anyone to come forward with any information, but up to this point, there have been no tips and no leads. A sinking feeling for Patricia. I'm getting through it, but it's hard. He's not here. But she says she's not giving up hope for justice and is looking forward to the day Christopher comes home. There's no more skateboards coming here or bikes. So the only thing he can do when he comes home is his um, Xbox One. Patricia says she and her husband have taken trait classes to help monitor Chris's breathing, and when they complete those classes, he should be home in the next couple of months. If you know who that driver is or remember seeing this yellow van that's on the screen there, give police a call.